G good evening everybody and welcome back to another of Sliver and Streams and I'm Richard and we're going to be streaming some um, Pike and Shot campaigns. Hopefully um, my stream is going uh, f uh, live now. Um, um, just hang on a second to I sort out of the configurations. <coughs> and just bear with me till I can hear my lovely voice on the Twitch stream. Even though the advertisement, oh, that's all I'm hearing now and probably you're hearing. Am I here? Is he here? And I am here. I can hear myself. Great night. I'm sure somebody will be around to talk to you about any problems you have. Um, I'm sure they will do. Just whisper Slytherin and I'm sure they will sort you out. So, hello everybody and welcome to tonight's stream which will be Pike and Shot a campaign. So good sir, bring your Sunday best to the battlefield. The battle will begin at 6 o'clock, we will commence firing. And without further ado, we're going to do a few skirmish games. We wanted to change it up a little bit, for no, not Field of Glory tonight, like I said. Uh, we wanted to change it up and, you know, put something a bit forward in time with steel and thunder or powder or whatever thing. So what I have to do, we're going to click today's um, skirmish. Uh, and I'm thinking, like I said, on my channel I, I have played some... Um, I, I'm playing some English Civil War at the moment uh, and I would like to play some more on the stream and hopefully you can see me kick some ass and I am a royalist gentlemen and ladies I'm definitely a royalist against the parliament so we're going to go first see how long we actually have tonight see if we can actually get in a few different uh, games and see a few different um, mechanics is the word I think mechanics but we should be fine. I'm looking forward to actually showing you, playing a few things and how I play. So here we are. We are English Civil War. Um, we're going to be doing a... I think we're going to be doing an open battle. So we're going to have a attack force. Um, but we'll see what happens. And we're going to have a medium battle. Uh, map size. Ooh, we could probably change. Medium, wide, very wide. Probably go medium again. We're going to probably go with potluck uh, terrain type. Uh, of course, I'm playing the Royalist tonight, um, of course, and I will be playing against the Parliamentary Forces. And without further ado, let's start tonight's skirmish. Pretty good. Pr I'm pretty, pretty psyched for this. Been waiting, looking forward all day to show you guys uh, some Pike and Shot. I don't know if you guys are familiar with Pike and Shot at all, um, Grey Knight or v Vader. So here we are. Um, this is our forces, the 1642 to 1643. And here we have, we have Royalist Cavalry, a flamboyant Royalist, uh, Royalist horse called Cavaliers by the Dupont Pontier Forces. Uh, deliver a fierce charge but may get carried away in pursuit of a fleeing foe. So they'll be wearing their Sunday best. What I like about the Royalist Forces is what they're wearing. And we have some commanded shots, so some musketeers, uh, riflemen, uh, veteran cavaliers. Oh, nice. Uh, we have newly raised poor pike and shot and Royalist pike and shot, uh, short of muskets. So not that many muskets in there, but lots of pike. I mean, I've been watching a few documentaries in the last few days. Apparently, the best, the the best, um, uh, easiest person to train on the battlefield is a is a is a musketman. Apparently, apparently you can teach a a man to fire a musket in a few days, and, and for a horseman, several months for a, riding a horse, and a pikeman is even more skilled than that. Hopefully, guys, I'm sure somebody will uh, turn up, uh, Lannister. So here we are with the forces of today. We have a hell of a lot of veteran cavaliers here. Uh, but remember guys, once I win combat, the royalist fo uh, forces, they just run riot. Um, oh, we've got a hill which we could take quite good advantage of here. Um, got loads of low ground. No obstacles on their side, so I'm expecting them to fight them around this sector here, uh, depending where they go. Yeah, I agree. Thank you for your fleet. But sometimes, if you if it's potluck armies, I've got troused by parliamentary cavalry before. All right. Okay. So we're gonna just we haven't got any cannon. Um. So there's no point uh, holding still. We've only got the commanded shot. So we've got the cavaliers on the left and the right. We've got the infantry to the foot centre. It's just a mix of pike and short a pike and we've got a commanded shot here which will just malinger and see anybody so for charles for the royals against the we're going to dissolve parliament once again and here we go let's see who we can see tonight pike 
pike and shot is a foot awful advance here. They have a lot of troops. <laughs> oh, they've got a lot. Uh, horse. I've got a lot, surprisingly. Ah, uh, what's that in the centre? Clubman. Oh, let's be afraid of the Clubman. What is that? Puss LG. I've never seen that before. Um, is that some sort of uh, very light cannon? Uh, got horses to the left and the right. Uh, and then just lots of things on the centre, lots of infantry and musketeers. So we might get out shot on the centre. We might. So uh, I'm being careful of the woods. Uh, that I'm not going to get because I will be disordered in there. Alanis, so sometimes it is out of um, Slivering Games' hand um, who turns up with the streamers. I'm not too sure who was booked in for there, but some things happen and things change. And infantry formed up, but I'm di moderately disordered in the centre because the wood, so I want to get out of that as soon as possible. Uh, the commanded shot are going to probably meet that commanded shot in the open. Uh, and the cavalry are going to go extremely to the right. And hopefully I can draw some of their cavalry away. But of course, I want to leave some of my cavalry here as well. Um, to help hopefully flank some of the pikemen. And to the left again uh, with the cavalry. They've got lots. It's just horse. Av average horse. Uh, with carbine pistol, so that's one range for the uh, for the cavalry. So here we go. We're just going to push on. We, remember, we're going to gain. We're going to take advantage of being this far away from the enemy uh, to push on. But also, I need. I, I always sometimes I leave cavalry. To, I'm going to get disordered in here, but I will move on out of that in the turn. Sometimes I do leave my infantry a little bit uh, open to. Uh, cavalry charge. So I'm going to leave t at least two units here to give some backup here. Hello, RT peep. How are you doing? Hey, hello everybody who's joined the stream. Welcome to Pike and Shot tonight. And then that's turn. All right. So everybody moving up. The cannon. Light guns. I'm not too sure the range of there. There he is. Is that Cromwell? I'm, I think it is. No, you didn't. Pixel four six four. You were just heating up. We're we're starting with the English Civil War, and hopefully moving on to something a little bit more exciting or less exciting next. I put on my feather-coloured hat, especially for this occasion tonight. You can't see that, of course. Uh, Grey Knight, I think there was a few vacations and stuff, so I wouldn't. Uh, I uh, I can. I mean, they can, I'm sure they would apologise to you. Uh, but, like I said, there is times when stuff doesn't happen. <laughs> no, we're not less exciting. <laughs> Alright, so first shot is the commander's shot on the right. We've taken some small casualties and, of course, we're going we're gonna to open up for one damage. <laughs> this is a very exciting game. It's a very niche market for... Uh... Oh, bloody, there's the reaction shot for Civil War and... Um... More civil war. Alright, we're gonna keep this cavalry back as well. Actually, no, I really shouldn't move them there. Well, the cavalry, everybody's gonna move up. So, everybody moving up in the centre as well. Let's maybe hopefully entice them in. Uh, I'm not too sure the range of this cannons. The cannons are there. Uh, I don't really want to be sitting there having a firing line with the light cannon either. Alright, everybody moved up on that side. We are fine. Keeping these two units here. Oh, let's go all the way. The cav the parliamentary cavalry on the left and right has stood still. I like cavaliers. Some something about something about them. And, let's and the it opens up like oh, I moved that cavalry a little bit too close. And there's the light guns hitting away. Remember, guys, when playing um, Pike and Shot, remember about arcs. Uh, I've come a cropper a lot of times. Cavalry's going to get shot to bits by them Pike and Shot in the centre. 
Yeah, I like uh, the Highlanders for the because they got bows. <laughs> I played them once and they had bows. It was hilarious. They actually did better than some of the musket muskets. So the battle has begun in the centre. It is going to be a firing match there. I don't know if how does musketeers there. They're, they're cavalry bait. The the horse the cavalry horses have. You know what, we're going to go for that. And then we're going to push everything straight up there, hopefully for their... for the parliamentary horses to take on there. Bows are fantastic, i got to say. Something, something. I'm a bit afraid about the amount of cavalry on this left side. Um, but we'll see. Um, do these guys have any... These guys are pure melee, aren't they? They've got no pistols. Nah, that's arc of fire is full, 5 to 15, not bad. Uh, well, I mean, I'm a great believer in concentrated fire. Is he full arc? Check. Remember guys, check your arcs, because you know what, you don't want to be firing. Look at the half arc, look at the, it's, it is literally half of, <laughs> funny enough, it's half arc, it's near enough half the damage. Um... I mean, do I make a run for this top of this hill and let them find a way up? No, we're going to let them let them take the let them get take all the way, let them block their own cannon and other guys in the rear. Five to fifteen. Five to fifteen. Oh, oh God! Every time everything shoots, it actually scares me. Um, we're going to turn here to face the oh, things here. We're Probably, probably, probably run this cavalry out of the way. Let's get a bit closer. Uh, and we're going to probably move some up there as well. We'll be careful of the obstacles. Um, I want to draw some of these units away. I know I'm uh, hopefully not going to sacrifice. I'm gonna put that there. Give, give, give them an option. Give them an option, and these guys are gonna. <sighs> that's like suicide. <laughs> it's like suicide. And that's my turn. That is my turn. All I can do there. Hopefully, I can just they will they will start to panic and turn around to look at these uh, cavaliers on the hills. Uh, but the problem is with my cavaliers, they will pursue and pursue and pursue. Until they're halfway off the board and make no difference on the battle. Portraits are lovely on this, I would say. Oh, I carumba. I wanted to go for that musketeer you know, but it moved forward, unfortunately. It has swapped, they have moved one of the pike and jot, and here comes the uh, Parliament Entry horse on the side. They are they've got carbines. Oh, it's sickening. And they're fully advanced on the rock right as well. Oh, disruption. Well, that was going to happen. Uh, sorry, Pixel. No, unfortunately not. I think Agrippa Maximus um, is doing that tomorrow. Shame. I would I would have liked to. Uh, but leave it, I mean, between me and you, uh, and everyone listening, of course, I, I'm, I'll be doing something soon for Field of Glory. I don't know if Agrippa does it better than me. You, you can decide. <laughs> I, I like Agrippa's videos, regardless of that. Why is that such a poor attack? Uh, unfortunately, I can't do anything there. The disrupted has hurt them. Oh, we're going to move them this side a little bit, and I'll turn around to attack. Um, yes. So let's see. I bet your top dollar guys, these guys will evade 
Oh, oh, I can't shot. Oh, it's this guy with priority. 19. They will evade. Nope. They suck. Ha, 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 ha. I'm going to eat you now. And bring him this side. Um, and that will be turning for the next turn combat, if they're still there. And we're going <sighs> to... Bit of a sacrifice, I would say. Uh, we've got to be careful because we're going to get flanked there and disrupted, unfortunately. Uh, I'm going to try and funnel something through there. And here we go again. We're going to line the fire up here. It's just going to be the whole... The problem is, it's just this is the way it's warfare is for. Musket to musket, and then hopefully, eventually, we will sit and hit each other with our musket butts. And um, again. I don't know if it's me, but I found the rifle noises on this game way too fast. Hello everybody and welcome to the stream. I've seen the, the stream count go up to 37 people. Welcome to this Pike and Shot campaign. Playing some Civil War to start off with. Um, it's, it's quite even at the moment. It's quite even. Mm, how big? How many, there? Oh, how many people in there? Does it say? Oh yeah, well. And shooting away. Fire again. I want a chart hook on there, and that's it. We'll do it. We'll do it. It may cause some disruption. So, like I said, guys, when you're playing this game, remember arcs. I, I always instantly click there, turn, and then fire. As so. Hoping they will destroy them and run on through here and cause some shenanigans. Uh, we're gonna f we're gonna turn here again. I might go straight down to the cannon uh, and run through the cannon and then into the clubman hopefully. And that's turn, gentle. Oh, that's no. I'm gonna I'll, I'll get flanked horribly there. So that's turn. Let's see what shenanigans they come back up to. And combat ensues. Fortunately, I think I put myself... Oh, they disrupted the commanded shot. Yeah, pike and shot's good. I, I like pike and shot. What a pike. I play the tabletop as well, though, so... And the... The shooting... Him. Oh, the cannon does absolutely nothing. Oh, there's the destruct. <laughs> the um, parliamentary cavalry on the left getting smashed, even on the charge. I've got to keep this cavalry advantage. I've got to keep it. Break them and go through. Yep, and they're going. Hello, Paul Winter. How are you this fine summer evening? We're somewhere in England fighting to dissolve Parliament again. And the counter charges happen. Ho 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 ho. And that's turn. Uh, no, uh, I think I've got a unit routing of them. I think. Did one of them route or just get pushed back? But we'll certainly see. Um, hmm. So we're happy with the way the cavalry attack's going at the moment. Uh, we've just got to keep it up. And we're going to go straight down for the cannon. <laughs> we're going to give them um, something to think about. It's either lose the cannon or, or face a unit. One of the two. And hopefully I'll attack the cannon, come through to one of these clubman units. These guys are disrupted, which is unfortunate. But regardless of that, it's a good percentage. 
the commander shot have fled. That's who have fled on that left on the right side. So we're doing quite well here. Uh, it's quite a separate battle to the main battle line here. Uh, we are drawing a few of their units to that to the uh, conflict there, which will hopefully help me in here because I am outnumbered. Um, I have done a few risky charges, but I feel it it will pay off. Oh, five percent, not a not a, not a mark, not a mark. If they are raw pike and shot, I mean, so I've got here, I've got a I've got a thing to do. I can either go into uh, the side and then the cavaliers in the front again, um, and we'll just see, we'll see what that comes that fruits next turn. And then we're going to charge here to help the unit here, hopefully causing some disruption. And it has caused disruption, which is what I wanted. And we're going to charge here. In the great hindsight of the world, I wish I just thought about that because I've like opened my flank up to a whole lot of pain from their cavalry. The cavalry is slightly, slightly weaker, but um, we're going to move this cavalry up. We are going to move this cavalry up uh, to cause a bit of disruption here, and hopefully it will either make their cavalry come this way or this pike and shot unit turn around. So, giving the computer player a few options what to do. Uh, let's see. I've, I've got to say, I, 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 when I first started playing this game, I was very cocky with it and very wasteful. Uh, I find this game you just be a bit. Think about your moves and what you're going to do. And like I said before, arc of fire, arc of fire. I've not disrupted any of these pike shot units. There's a huge body of men here. And firing again. Very little to do. And oh yes, we'll have that. Thank you very much. That could be another fleet. And the cavalry here will wait to see what to do next turn. And the uh, my cavalry taking full advantage on the left and right flank, cutting them off a little bit there. But the battle is not over just yet. It's only just begun. And the fire ensues on the main line. Oh, ca cavalry getting the, cav uh, the artillery in the face. <laughs> yeah, no one do. No one do, exactly. I hate that. I make some moves in this game and I'm like, I can't actually undo that. <laughs> Gentlemen, there is no one do in real life. There's no one do on the battlefield. Remember that. I think I think it makes the game a little bit a bit better. What's fled on my side? That fire in the centre is absolutely. Oh, the move to the charge. Oh, they've moved some units over to fill the clubman out. Oh. That flank attack. Oh. Two charges on there. Ooh. Told you that was that was that was my mistake. But hey oh, that's the way the cookie crumbles. And a break there. And there's that unit gone for the entire game. God, yeah, I actually lost that. And here we are, it's getting quite brutal on them flanks. The my left flank is actually starting to crumble a little bit, unfortunately. And it's turned that the, the par Parliament forces have uh, been victorious a little bit on this left side. Unfortunately, that's all I can do. Well, we are gonna we are gonna be a bit brave now. Can we? Ch oh, yes. Let's charge the cannon. And get rid of it. Oh, these guys are fragmented. Unfortunately. And the cavalry here on the right side is just stuck in combat. I'm a bit dubious what's going to happen. 
All right, fully here. We're going to hit uh, full arc fire for 30. Um, and here we're going to go. Hopefully we get some disruption causing uh, from the rifle fire. Hello, Kohai. How are you this wonderful evening? Welcome to the stream. So, like I said, guys, half arc fire. It's not worth it. We're going to concentrate fire on the centre unit here, which is 21 there. No disruption, though. So, on the first here, full fourteen again. And firing away, of course, on the centre. It is going to get very brutal here. We're going to be in close combat very soon. E 2%. That's not good. I feel that cavalry unit on the right is a bit stuck. And here again, we're not going to charge. Oof. We can't escape, so we're a bit thinking the commander shot may turn around to the left. And then we're going to fire away. Oof, one to six, not particularly great. Is it worth a charge? Oh, that's risky. That's risky. Where will they end up? They'll end up there. Fifteen percent. What's the shot? Oh, I've already shot them. They're stuck. These guys are just gonna turn to the front and see what happens. Uh, they are just they're stuck into uh, priority, which is them, and that's not good. I think this could be turn. I think I've done all I can. I think my left flank is going to crumble a little bit. So I think the battle could swing in their favour to the end of this uh, battle. Can the centre hold long enough for the cavalry to mop some of them up and break some of them around? God, that shooting is ridiculous. How is the weather tonight, Kohai? Are you enjoying it? And the cavalry is rallying, fortunately for them, for me even. And there goes the Cavalier Cavalry running away into the end of the battlefield. Oh, unfortunately, they had to take that in the face. Ah, the first, the first infantry unit disrupted could be key to breaking that left flank. And the clubman advancing. The clubman showing their flank there. Oh, this could be good. Oh lordy! There goes that left flank for the cavalry. I think I opened the up, uh, opened it up quite unfortunately. There. Can this one unit hold on? And they can. And the musketeers have broken. Is that going to be an overcharge? Disrupting the pike and shot there as well. A rally for me. Huzzah. Boom, boom. There you go. So there you go, guys. Some actually changes there in the battle. Um, still 1%. But I'm going to have to run away. <laughs> I think I could charge here. I think a charge here is in order. Yes, it is, sir. Yeah, oh, for, fortunately, we can only charge one, which will be our move here, and we'll shoot. Uh, it's going to have to be half a uh, half arc. Oh, do we go for it? Do we do we chuck in our chuck in our muskets? I'm, I'm clubbing them quite hard. <laughs> They're quite actually difficult to kill. Well, they've engaged. They've engaged. We are going to move forward and take on them. Oh, God, they're disordered. They're in rough ground. I didn't realise that was rough ground. Rough ground hill. I carumba. Well, unfortunately, we're going to have to stick with that. And that's time, gentlemen. Was it worth the charge? No, it is not worth the charge. And that is not worth the charge either. 4%. Oh, 11%. Go on. They're going to they're going to they're going to get charged on the side anyway. The fall back actually helped me there. And I'm going to move up to help our cavalry. But fortunately just one space out of charge range. This cavalry are just getting shot up. 
I need something to charge them. But that's not going to happen. And thank you very much. We'll have a flank charge as well for you. And a break. Looking for an overcharge into that unit. And two breaks. Back to the fields with you, you peasants. Back to the fields. So there you go. Sending the parliamentary cavalry fleeing. But unfortunately... The Cavaliers will chase them down all the way, all the way down to Cornwall, probably. Um, and I think that could be turn here. Unfortunately, I think it is turn. There's nothing in particularly interesting I can do that I feel will make a difference. Unfortunately, like I said here, guys, the um, that rough ground has made an absolute pickle out of that unit. That unit is disordered to my own disadvantage. And I, I mean, remember to look at the terrain. I mean, there is rough ground here. They've done the same thing there. Uh, but that's the way the cookie crumbles. This unit here will just have to sit, take the fire. And the fire. Hopefully some more breaks in the combat. Oh, that's not good for me there. Club burn. Actually taking the things, but no morale checks. Cavalry running away. Oh, why are they running so far away? Oh, disrupting my pipe. The cavalry has run away. It's not supporting the way we should be. And getting shot up again. It, they are throwing in the towel and coming for me straight away could break that centre line and which could push the threshold. Mm, are, they, are they done with me now? Are they done for this turn? Oh it's my it's my chance. The melee? Come on, beat the clubman. Unfortunately not. Oh yes, they're off next turn hopefully. So it's going a little better on that left side now. Oh, but they are chasing my camera off. And a rally. And a rally. Yes. 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 They can, they can hear the call to the crown. Not priority. These are the priority. 26%. Can we charge these in the... F oh, go on. It may be to dab decrement. But that worked out quite well, I'd like to say. But they're off. They're off. <laughs> this cavalry is just steering the infantry down from the hill with the commanded shot. And these guys will hopefully... I need a disruption or something before I could even think about a charge. 2%. <laughs> that's, that's the fortunate about being disrupted. You're not very effective. And these guys... Oh, if I ch if I charge, I mean, but no, oh god, that's that's quite a good shot. Well, we're just going to open up fire, really. Let's see if anything changes in their turn. Oh, it's awful. They're dishing out a lot more hot, a lot more damage than I am. All right, where can these guys make some trouble? All right, these guys have actually rallied the Cavaliers in the rear. I'm hoping I'm going to bring them round to here to upset their line. If we actually have that many turns. You know, these guys now are going to run away. 2% um, is not worth it. Not worth it. Oh, that's worth the charge. They are disrupted. Huzzah. I can imagine Prince Rupert of the Rhine with his little dog running around the battlefield. A rally for the parliamentary troops. And Cabri has vanished. They've gone back to their farms. Now they're chasing my cavalry down. And they're rallied. Oh. 
and, and my guys actually left the battlefield as well. <laughs> they've had they've had enough. They want some tea. All right, we've got a big advantage here now. We're ahead with scores, so we can take some casualties. And they decide to charge. As I move the cavalry to the right, disrupting one of my units as well. Oh, this is murder. Murder. And a flank attack there. Oh, they're off. They're <laughs> I think I may have forgot to turn move them last turn. The melee and slew. Oh, they are going to need some support. These clubmen are tougher than I actually anticipated. It's all reliant on the cavalry coming, hooking back around. Well, at least are they? Are they rallied? No, they've not rallied. All right, we're gonna. Can we? Yes, we will help our. Veteran Cavaliers. That's good. That will cause them some... So luckily enough, they were they were there to help support. But... 10%. Uh, 10%. Am I happy with... Yeah, I'm happy with 10%. Oh, that's priority target. Uh... <laughs> I'm running out of choices. I'm running out of choices. 7%. Well, they're just in the same boat as me there, really. <sighs> I feel... I feel that's good. Hello, Nusasa. This is a Pike and Shot. Hello, everybody who's just joined the stream. Oh, come on. is that That's worth it. That's worth it. Don't know if that was worth it. I think it was worth it. Unfortunately, these guys need to now turn to the right. Uh, but also, we need to turn to the left. <laughs> and I think I've done that the right way around. And we're going to in, in, in close combat, so we can't. So we're going to have to charge next turn. Um, the cavalry here. Oh, it's just messing around. I kind of done nothing with this unit the entire game. It's just sat there getting shot in the face. But it has formed. It's been. It's been there as an annoyance. Uh, the commander shot will take some shots. The guys running away, aren't they? Yes, they are. Ugh. I need them there. That's that's unfortunate. So I think that's turn. You know, we've had some um, positives at the rear there, and we're starting to crumble in this center with some di uh, disrupted and fragmented troops. Um, the cavalry has just outperformed anything, and it's given me a good percentage in lead. And hopefully the infantry won't let it down, but I'm, I'm a, the infantry might do that now. Uh, these clubmen, which I expected to break, haven't. Um, and here we're at a little predicament, but we'll see if we can make, a, make good of the turn next turn. Unfortunately, <laughs> disrupting the troops on the left. Oh. This will be a good break here for this unit on the left here. Yeah, I'd I, I feel bad for the guys on the pike because they're going to get shot. Auto breaking the Cavaliers. <laughs> No, it's getting so close. That's where they're going to break. And yes, they will hopefully then make them break next turn. <laughs> oh, they're in a very predicament there now. Uh, commanded shot taken, rear attack. They're, they're gonna be they're gonna be off. And they're off. Make cause some disruption. No disruption. Anywhere else, good. Cavalry move. 
moving up again. Uh, back to my reactions. My infantry are in a lot of trouble, guys. Lots of trouble here. <laughs> the tide, the tide has turned. I spent too much time deciding what hat to wear to this fight, this fight without looking at the map. And my cavalry finally return. Oh, and the evade there for the commanded shot. Yes, it's very entertaining. If you want, if you like it, it's just it's a real good game. Unfortunately, guys, in that one last turn, I've took a hell of a beating. My infantry is all but destroyed. I'm hoping, I'm hoping. Some of my cavalry can make up for this, but I'm severely doubt that they're, they're, they're out of time. They've run away. These gentlemen need to turn around and face their fears. Um, we're gonna we're gonna charge. I think. Yep, we're close enough. Um, but but who is the priority target? I don't know. Oh, they can't charge. Unfortunately, they are sitting pretty, uh, ready to get charged in the rear. Oh, <laughs> there's, there's, there's so much looking at them that they're not very happy. Uh, the cavalry will fly to the right. Unfortunately, not fly to the right without getting shot up. I'm going to try and retreat this cavalry back. And the cavalry there is nothing. So that that is all of it. 4% uh, to my detriment there, unfortunately. Ooh. I don't know if this will work out, but we'll see. We'll see. It's going to be a very close battle anyway. I don't think it's going to be a massive percentage to this battle. Oh, them casualties. It's them clubmen. That clubman unit has changed the demographics and the geography of this battlefield. And there goes the Cavaliers pursuing all the way over. Finally, they break, slowly start to break that unit on the left. And to the folk turn. Oh, the charges, the shooting. How to break in the cavalry. For the crown. Come on, Charles. Get on that battlefield. Inspire some of your troops. They need a lot of inspiration right now. And there goes one of the units. Dispersed. don't know how, <laughs> that's just so changed in the last turn. In the last two turns, that's turned to 4% to 13. And I think this could be it. I think uh, the my forces are broken now in the centre. There's just not enough cavalry to change the pace of the battle. Come on, break them, please. No! I'm back to my turn. Let's see if I can take some of them down with me. Fortunately, they are fragmented. They will not be able to do anything this turn apart from look pretty. Um, and these gentlemen will try and get out of a horrendous rifle fire. But get gunned down in the process. We'll shoot them back in the back with a landed shot. I'm not entirely sure what to do with this unit now. I think we're going to move there. And the Cavaliers in the rear are moving. No! Charles has a divine right to rule. Damn these peasants. We're going to go and dissolve Parliament yet again. <laughs> That's turn, guys. We're trying to rewrite history here. <laughs> That's That's gone, guys. We're, 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 that's it. We've had it. We've had enough. 
think we'll call it a draw. I think we'll just call it a draw. <laughs> no, he's going. He's going for a haircut. A very short haircut. Bit off the top. That's all he's going to get done. Insult to injury here. Rubbing salt into that wound. That is my pride. I'm, I'm not too sure why the game hasn't just said, you've lost. The poor, the poor Englishman on the field. Oh, the cavalry returned. <laughs> Eventually. Ah, they go. So, your army has lost. You are defeated, sir. So, unfortunately there, guys, that was a, a very nasty defeat there for the Royalist forces. They have won once again. And that was a really good battle. I mean, the infantry let me down there. Uh, the infantry, I just... I thought the cavalry was getting... Their cavalry was getting mashed. But I just could not pull that cavalry around quick enough to help support the infantry. But there you go, that was quite exciting. I quite enjoyed that. I hope you did. So like I said, guys, we've got another hour and 15 minutes of streaming time. We're going to stick to Sergeant Major uh, difficulty. So, yeah, horrendous losses there. Horrendous losses. Whew, I enjoyed that, though. So let's see for the next um, uh, skirmish. We might use something else. I'm, I'm not entirely sure what part of the world we shall um, find. I'm tempted to go for the Italian Wars. Um, are they, They're in the Italian Wars, aren't they? Pixel 464. I think it's in the Italian Wars. It must be in the Italian Wars. Just skirmishes tonight. Um, like, I like to mix it up a little bit. Um, I've not really been into the campaign mode too much. Um, so... That's something for a future stream. I'm gonna get back on my horse. So we're gonna we're gonna try some Italian wars. Uh, we'll probably may mix it up a little bit with uh, one of the um, a few of the settings to make it a little bit more interesting for everybody. I see. Is it Swiss, French, Spanish? Well, I've clicked it now. Pixel. Uh, we'll we'll decide it. So we're gonna do. We'll do a reinforced enemy, so the uh, the enemies will get. Um, yeah, it is you're right, it is French and um, Swiss. So we'll give the enemies reinforcements. Uh, we'll go with same medium potluck, and then we'll see the fun, the fun things that can happen, giving the enemy just the slight advantage and me something to think about which flank they're going to come on. So let's have a quick look at our forces. So from the left, we have some light guns, so just average troop. Uh, Grenadiers, fully armoured men at arms with a lance. Ooh, that's certainly interesting. Are they Swiss? Uh, we've got some skirmishers, musketeers. Uh, so a light horse with javelins. I am brave, Pixel. I, I live a rock and roll lifestyle, as you know. This is my rock and roll lifestyle. And here we are with the armoured horses. Uh, Italian um, foot horsemen mounted. So a lot of mounted troops here, guys lot of mounted troops. We've got, I think, my entire forces is mounted. Oh, there's a porcupine! Spanish Imperial! Fantastic. First the French. So here we are. Porcupine. That is something of beauty, that is. That really is. I'm absolutely loving that, guys. That is such a sweet model. And that cavalry. That is fun. I love that. God, we've got such heavy... Infantry, heavy cavalry army here. Uh, let's. Uh, these are definitely lights. Uh, oh, they'll be my screen, I guess. I shall put the infantry in the centre to wobble on forward and put two of the cavalry units to the left and right. My javelins. Oh, the javelins! <laughs> oh, the doomsday weapon. Uh, lance, light lances, light lance, light lance. What's the range of a javelin? 
What's the range of a javelin? Oh, gee, yeah, I, I didn't expect a javelin to be uh, uh, <laughs> very far. One square is all you get. One square is all you get. They look like they do look like castles. I ain't deploying in that bloody wood. I'm gonna be actually. I've got like a column formation to form. Well, the cavalry can run ahead. The infantry will just uh, form either side. And let that be deployment. I would like to know who this uh, portrait is of, uh, if anyone knows. Oh, the French have bought some decent artillery. <laughs> oh dear. They've bought some artillery to here. They've got... Oh, look at the blocks. I do like the models, don't get me wrong, but I think I feel they could be a little bit more detailed, just slightly more detailed. It, it makes it a slight, slight um, thing. Is it Bastion Square? I thought it, it looked similar to like a a port. Is it is it a hedgehog? Oh, they've got they've got they've got like is it medium artillery? Oh, they're going to be ranging down, rain raining down terror on my cavalry. Unfortunately, but that's we're going to harass them with our javelins. Who are these guys? Oh, we've got musketeers, horse pistols. We'll just we'll do a slight advance. We'll do a slight advance. <laughs> They're just, just such outmatching me on this. Uh, and that I think move the infantry up. I don't want the infantry to get into the thing. So it's like 50-50 pike and uh, pike and rifle. That's turn. Let the terror terror rain from a distance. Love the French flag though. I like that. Are they letting me advance? Oh, the cannon. The canard raining down in the infantry straight away. Uh, <laughs> my light gun's going to have to limber up, <laughs> unfortunately. Uh, the rifleman may come up forward to do some light skirmishing uh, against these riflemen here. So advance again. Pushing forth. That cavalry is absolutely beautiful. Problem is I played too much English Civil War. And the guns have limbered up. Ugh, I don't know the range on these guys. We're just going to shimmy forward a little bit. Maybe come to the right a little bit, actually. No one do button, so we can't do anything because of that. And then turn there. Cannon punishing me once again from a distance. There's nothing I can do about that apart from take it on the chin. Oh, God. The pain. The pain has been delivered. We need to get up there as soon as possible. That the light gun is directly behind the the medium gun, and the light gun eventually moving up. We're just going to move up with all our cavalry and infantry at the same time. And we'll hook, hook to the right. Just go and get behind that little wood. We're going to annoy them. We're throwing javelins at them. I need to get at least one javelin shot off before the end of the game. Cannon away! Oh, 61! <laughs> That's going to cause some major disruption here at some point. And the musketeers on the right uh, finally commit to the battle on the hill, which unfortunately is overlooking my line if they take advantage of this little plateau here. Any cavalry charge would probably be What's the range of these gentlemen? Oh, let's let's remember, guys. Turn to face. Turn to face. Oh yes. <laughs> we're gonna go and get you now. <laughs> we're gonna get you. You've charged me, mate. So we're gonna come and eat you. Am I gonna? You're you waiting for it, guys. The hail of javelins. No, they're not javelins. Where's the javelin guys gone? Oh, they're the javelin man. Ah, oh, but they ran away, fortunately. All right, let's keep this um, keep this field up. Uh, so the riflemen, of course, are going to advance. Advance again. We may get reaction fired, but we haven't. And turn around and full fire of effect down onto. 
And the cannon again. We can see their cannon, uh, but unfortunately it's going to be kind of pointless to think, so I'm going to move all the way up then. So I will be in range to start peppering down on their line. Their cavalry here, oh, they are, they are archers. So they're going to probably uh, evade any charge we have to give at them. Just light lancer sword, but let's form up the way. Let them make the mistake. Or let them make me make the mistake. And cannon away. And the light gun. And the bastion shooting at the uh, rifle musketeers. And the light gun shot and they're moved. And they're... That was brave. That was brave. And getting shot by the musketmen there. Oh, disrupted. How would you like that, sir? Oh, the, the javelins! The javelins disrupted them! <laughs> oh, that made my day. The javelins. Did everyone see that? The, 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 the doomsday weapon they call a javelin in these days. How far can they actually run away when they're disrupted? Oh, they can't run away at all. Thank you very much. We are going to now uh, eat you. And a early lead for the Spanish. Fantastic there. This is going to make some of their forces think twice about what they're doing on this right flank. Um, oh, we're just going to shoot you first. Oh! <laughs> Got some crack shots in our army. So there you go, two decisive blows uh, on the on the forefront of this, and then we're gonna we're gonna charge in here. No, we're not gonna charge in here. That went very poorly there. Well, we're gonna try again. And cannon is gonna aim at the uh, big pipe. Unit. God, Bennett, two thousand, two thousand hit. You know, I moaned about clubman in the first battle, uh, and I think. I'm going to turn to give some support. We're going to turn slightly here. And that is turn, gentlemen. And... I would like to break them. I thought that was a very brave charge of them to hit that front line. And the block, the Death Star units come forward. And the uh, musketeers on the right, the cavalry is holding back. Ooh, 46. Oh, 46. Oh, I'm surprised these guys didn't get um, disrupted there. It is all to play for. The units have been disrupted. Um, these guys now. We can't charge. We're going to cannon these guys in the face. Oh, unfortunately, a very bad result. They will break, but I will be. I'm going to. I am going to do that. Oh, and fantastically, uh, they get out of the range of the pistoliers, but they can probably still turn and shoot me. Uh, but I'm not particularly uh, worried about that. Ooh, if we turn. And we're still out of range. Do we move forwards? I don't think so. Out of range. Wow, these these muskets at this age are very short range, unfortunately. <sighs> these guys are disrupted. I need them to rally uh, to make any odds. And I think we're gonna we're gonna call it there. Actually, we're, they are advancing. We're we're, we're feeling a bit more uh, confident. But the French cavalry is as oh the cannon is so gonna die horribly. And the two Death Star units. Oh cannon point blank does hardly any damage. And back to my turn. So we're gonna are these guys? Yes, they are back to it. The javelins. Are you ready for it, gentlemen? The javelins. Are you, are you watching it, guys? We're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna. You're gonna break this unit with the javelins. Are you ready for it? 
No! Unfortunately, I need to turn. <laughs> we'll come over here and I'll give you a shot. Here we go. No, oh, I wanted a break with the uh, javelins, but unfortunately that's not. Oh, the charge is so bad. The charge is so bad. Let's let's give them a good volley or two. We're gonna have to charge. Oh. <laughs> Eighty-two. This will make and break the game. Oh, unfortunately the. Uh, They are just masked archers, so we're going to go for that one. <laughs> and you evade. You evaded. Alright, we're going to slowly turn some of the cavalry to the right. Because their cavalry is still still holding back. <laughs> there's, 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 and unfortunately, I keep saying unfortunately, there's, there's lots of superior cavalrymen in that front rank of uh, men. But... So we'll see what happens. So that was quite a good combat. I, f I feel the problem is their units are huge. Uh, mine are... Oh, no. Yeah, mine are s sizable. The s nearly the same. But we'll see them two massive combats. The cannons just thanking its lucky stars that they, that they charged in. Hoping that uh, unit in the... Oh, here comes the cavalry. Uh, that unit there caught, breaks and causes some disruption, which will be very good there. Ignoring the lights on the right side, coming straight down. I'm going to javelin them in the face when they run away. And cannon on cannon action, uh, which resulted in no casualties. Oh. What I'd do for one more unit of block infantry. Very fisticuffs there. Alright. We want to break them with javelins. We might as well just charge them and break them, I guess. Let's stop farting around. Uh, we'll charge them with the carbines. Brilliante. Um, charge isn't bad there as well, actually. 12%. I'd even risk that. I, I think I would risk that. And we were right to risk that for the flank charge. Mm. Yes, I think I may have made a mistake there. And they just survived on the edge of the board. Oh, fortunately. <laughs> Oh dear, their cavalry is a bit of a tough cookie. Uh, we're going to keep back there, I think. Um, what can the cannon shoot at? Unfortunately, like I said, the cannon can only shoot the cannon. Uh, which you, uh, I've been told you should not waste your shots. We're going to move up the archers to this, the uh, musketeers. Actually, in making them a target as well. And uh, disrupting the uh, light gun. I think that's going to be turn. I think I can't. I don't want to make any more big mistakes here. Um, because their cavalry is going to hit me. And I need to hit them back in the, in the subsequent turn. But we'll see what happens there. Cannon away again. Two damage. Just a massive what a man. They're stabbing each other with them pikes. Yeah, my light troops have just got walked there. <laughs> that was such a bad choice. That cover is going to make uh, my day even worse. Oh, they've run away. They've, they've come back. Uh, Make it spreading my forces out there a little bit as well. In the nick of time, the cavalry has helped the uh, mask musketeers. Looking for a disruption then. I thought that was going to be the time. Let's go and shoot that cannon off the board. Oh. 
unfortunately. That was a bit of a silly move. Let's bring these carbines around, I guess, here, I want to say. Yes, and then we're going to shoot away. And the javelin man and the... And then we're going to move these to the left. And then try and come behind the cannons for that charge. Oh, there's, it's like no no chance whatsoever. Then being disrupted has sport their day. Um, I, I can't really do anything with these apart from like do some suicidal charge across the map, which will probably have, will make me die just die even worse. 51%. What are these strange, like, veteran cavern, cavernmen of death? Um, uh, I'm just going to probably... I could just try and get out of their line of sight. And then at least I, I survive to reposition myself for a later turn. And these guys could go, get out of Dodge. We're not having none of that yet. And they end the turn. Oh, <laughs> Enemy reinforcements have arrived, remember. Uh, this is uh I'm sure. I think they come on from the the I think they come on from the north. And the cavalry falling back. Something tells me the infantrymen are gonna be in combat all game. Massed archers uh Rusteers are disrupted now. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, they needed more cavalry. Come to spoil my day. Six percent. And back to their shooter phase again. And the musketeers are gonna break. Oh, disrupting there, unfortunately. Grant me victory. Just one victory. Yeah, that's not going good there at all. Them being disrupted. And we're going to go in there. They, they can't have that flank charge. Uh, the stream's not ended. It's just Simone going. The, the, the admin. I'm not going just yet. I've got a, a good hour left on it. God, oh, well, we've got to get rid of me so far. <laughs> All right, we're gonna we're gonna pummel the um, the light guns with some rifle fire. Hopefully, break and a break. Fantastic. And to do. Oh, you're going. Bye. Sorry, I've misunderstood that. And shooting away again. Seven uh, percent. It's not worth it. <laughs> it's not worth it. Okay, let's shenanigans we can cause. Are they looking the wrong way? I think they are. And I think, sir, you should get a rear charge. And I think, sir, you should get a charge in the side. Ah, uh, that worked slightly well. Uh, but let's see what happens there. Uh, bring the disrupted troop back around to support the cavalry here. They're going to go in. They're going to go in. And we're going to fire some pistols at you. Oh, there's some mounted musketeers here. Are we going to get it there? And there you go, guys. That was my turn. I think very well there. We've, we've made some good choices here that could alter the battle. But unfortunately, like I said, the cavalry here is going to make a mess in the subsequent rounds. <laughs> Oh, the superior cavalry, even outnumbered and outflanked, actually destroys the cavalry. And the big unit has broken. Fan does he do. They are off. And the masked um, musketeers are off. Ow, that is changed up here. I thought I was stuck in combat at least for the entire game there. 
charges from the big units of cavalry. Pull it back. And a lucky evade there. Hopefully next turn I can make some mess of their cavalry with my pikemen. That was a big percentage uh, for that loss of that big unit. Big. So many points in there. But that's always good. Unfortunately they disrupted it. Cannon away. We probably can break the medium guns. Charging again. And I think they, they, they're in some serious trouble there. And we can't actually do anything with them just yet as um, they have just run out of movement. And we're going to unload again. Oh, ooh, ooh. yeah, go on then. That was good. There goes the cannon. Oh, we're going to shoot them. And we're going to move our uh, javelin men. For one damage. For one damage. And you will charge. Oh, no, you're not going to charge here. We could give them a choice next turn. That is such a bad thing. Being disrupted has not made their day. Fortunately, I think we're going to push them there, give them a choice what to attack with. I think if I don't do that, they're going to get charmed. They're going to get flanked anyway, but I think it's, it will be worse. Or can we charge anything in the rear here? No, what's the point? What's the... Um... No, I think they're in two zone of control of this unit here. Mm-hmm. We're going to turn and shoot because I reckon we will, we will evade. Uh, cannon has nothing to shoot at. I think the cannon is going to be pushed to the right and limbered up to the plateau. And that's turn. I'm, I'm very unsure. Oh! <laughs> more enemy reinforcements have turned up. Like they needed any more reinforcements. The superior cavalry showing, the, showing us what they can do. And they are certainly doing that more than a match for my cavalry here. As well, my, my infantry are now pursuing the, uh, infant, the enemy infantry. Which I wish they would have stayed still to let me manoeuvre them. And the cavalry seems to be more reinforcements that come from the north sector again. And there goes the, our cavalry uh, routing. And the pikemen have been charged. I need to turn these guys around. Uh, to hopefully lessen the blow there. Oh. Turn around, please. They're going to get disrupted. They are going to get disrupted. Not these... Uh, Pike here are just literally going to pursue all the way back, and there's not very much I can do about that. But we can move um, these up, these up, and they can charge in the turn to full arc fire. It's there. Yes, they did. Pixel, they they brought they brought it. They 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 brought it. <laughs> there's not much I can do about that. They're very they're very nice. They are extremely tough. Oh, let's go for that. You're disrupted, my friend. And we are going to shoot you. They're fragmented, so they going to do anything. 13%. Oh, 13? Is that worth it? No. We'll shoot you. And we'll turn and fire some javelins. Ah, oh, the pain. 2%. <laughs> well, we're going to distract them, hopefully. I'm hopefully going to move his cavalry here uh, and make make them decide what to do. Turn the cannon. 
Should have kept going. Never mind. Let's turn. Hello, everybody. Welcome to the Pike and Shop um, stream. If you're just arrived. Oh, the <laughs> the pikemen have fled, causing the cannon to uh, disrupt. Pixel, so which um, did which? Uh, Fata did the um, Ottomans play in, and we'll play that next. And the reinforcements have come down. Are they clubmen or just mass busted ears, really? Cavalry is literally owning the battlefield. Remember, guys, if you give them ground, they will take it. And there's a lot of points in these big pike units. Massive points. So once you do lose one, it is. It's just devastating to your win-loss ratio. <laughs> they were going to win on that hill. They were going to win. At least the rally there for me. So I'm quite happy with that. All right. That's there you did. Can we charge anybody? Yes. How would you like that, sir? How do you like that? Thank you very much. Hazar. And ooh, ooh, there's a lot of French cavalry out there. <laughs> These musketeers are looking mighty in the open. Um, that combat out of range. God, it's got piss poor range. They're in combat. Uh, it doesn't matter, Pixel. Whichever. Early, late. I don't know. I'm not too which uh, theatre they play in. And. Oh. Yes, we are light troops, so it doesn't particularly matter. No, that's unfortunate there. Uh, I, no, I can't charge that. I can't live for myself if I charge. Um, that's all I can do. Everybody else is engaged or fleeing. Such high hopes. Dashed. Dashed. Um, just going to turn them. Turn them again. They are going to get... These guys are going to get charged in the rear there, but there's very little I can do about this. I mean, do I move these up or not? I'm going to stick them there. And then they'll just hopefully reaction fire something on the way down. Oh, that's it. Do you like them pikes? Do you like them pikes? Oh, the French are now. Oh, Shooting phase. This cavalry is absolutely amazing. I don't know what I've got installed, so I'll have to have a look. And let's see if we can rally some of our troops to make any more impact against theirs. All right, we're going to put some fire under these and fragmenting them. Fantastic. Mm. Do we turn or do we shoot two to eight? I'm not going to drop any coherency. That's that's fine. I've, I've, I've got that one, I think. Um, uh, damn... Damn the light troops! I'm gonna shoot you instead. Oh, I don't. I don't want to really charge. We're gonna. We are gonna charge here. But pushing our uh, pikemen further and further away from where the main battle is here. Um, turn these around. Even half arc fire was bad. Not that bad. Three um, percent. We're gonna charge in the rear. 
putting in is in a very precarious location here. And that could be turned. Everybody else is engaged or running away. This battle has changed up and down. I love the running away, the uh, the sound file for that. At least it wasn't a flank charge for the pikemen here. But the cavalry are just running riot. 6%? I think it's quite, quite close. And a rally! Bizarre. And they're slightly off. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's see if we can make a difference. Unfortunately, no, these guys are severely uh, disorientated. And we're going to... Ooh. Who will I make an impact against? These guys are not... These guys need to turn around, face the music... They are running and carbines. These guys have come behind here. And the mast guy. Ooh. Well, they're going to get charged by these. So they might as well turn to face them and then open a can of whoop -ass. And just light lances, aren't they? We'll turn to the right, to the left even, sorry. I just wait, brace for the charge. So that is it. Very close, 42%, 42%. It is anybody's game. Just the... It is in the hands of the gods. Uh, how, how good that I've got these back. And they're not disrupted or anything. And they're quite... You know, they've got a good portion of health left. Firing away. And an auto break for the enemy cavalry. Run away. And back to the French. And evade. Brilliant. That's what I wanted. Get that cavalry. Oh! The mass musketeers volleying to disrupt the infantry there, which is not fantastic because they were going to be the, the reinforcements that are solely needed here. Any of these guys get flanked, it is going to be a bad day. Severely um, diminishing their fighting effectiveness. And another rally. So they should be back. Uh, is it being disrupted now? Or? No, they're back to it. <clears throat> What's the charge look like when I'm disrupted? <laughs> Not fantastic. Oh, it could be worse. It could be worse. And have you in the rear, mister. Bring the uh, light troops back over. I'm going to have to do it. 9%. I'm going to have to do it. I'd rather be the charger. And it's slightly paying off. And then here again. Slightly paying off. And this cavalry will turn around. These gentlemen here are just running off down the, down the field. But they're in charge arc of all the infantry cavalry units. And that's turn. Very little to play with in these uh, last few turns. It could go down to zero turns, I think. There is, no, there's 13%. One of these big units goes, it's all gone, I think. I think all rests in one of them units. Oh. <laughs> uh, they are scary. And that that's that's cold it I think. <laughs> oh, God, Bennett. 
somehow if I could break these. But there you have. There you go. That that's got it. Ah, oh, so close, but so far. Sixty-three percent. Yeah, they broke me. Yeah, I've not downloaded any, downloaded any modules recently. I don't think I've got any modules installed. Oh, sad to say there, guys, because the large pikeman unit fled the field. It was, yet again, a defeat. A defeat. Oh, that was tough. Cookies, that cavalry was mean. I mean, a plain field of glory. The, uh, the, um, oh, that was just... Brutal. I think we've got one, one. Uh, we've got about half an hour left, thirty-five minutes, so we can literally um, try um, one more battle, and hopefully it will be a victory. Uh, so we're going to play the uh, raw hot. I, I cannot pronounce that accent. I'm not going to try to. Uh, we're going to do potluck armies again, as always. Uh, we live on the edge. Uh, I'm going anti-imperial, of course. And see who we get. Are we going to be lucky? So we have we are playing with the Swedish against the Danish. This is going to be very interesting. We've got pike shot as always, medium guns, pike and shot, pike and shot, unarmed, unarmored horse, unarmored horse, uh, veteran armored, and things. So just very a very European force. Quite a nice portrait there as well. We have caught the enemy while they are doing right. We must defeat them before nightfall. Otherwise, uh, we're combining the outmatched forces. So we've got limbered guns as well. Come on, guys. Hold out for the victory. The Swedes are here. The Swedes are good. I like Sweden. Uh, we've got the guns limbered up on horse. Uh, we've got rough ground to the left. We are hopefully going to stay out of that. So, uh, so we're not going to get bogged down. We do have some rough ground up here, actually, even. Uh, which could change the field. The Swedish cavalry is going to be on the extreme... Right, a lot of rough terrain, and actually, more at my side of the battlefield. Very much so on my side. That is very unfortunate. I think we're gonna have to try and bypass a lot of this, because it make a big difference. I think here. I mean, what are these armed with? Uh, determined horse, mounted and pistol. Can. I be granted a victory today, so I think we're going to keep uh, we're going to keep calm on this left side. I think we're going to keep this static on the left, swing the right side up to this plateau, uh, and hopefully see what the enemy do here. So we're going to have most of the cavalry on the. I think we're going to have all the cavalry on the right uh, to take advantage of that. Let's bring some of the other pike and shot cavalry more to the right. We are going to get a little bit disrupted here. So that's the way the cookie's going to crumble. But the question is, will they commit? We've got a nice plateau here with the advantage of the ground. And they've unlimited the medium gun straight away. Most of their cavalry is concentrated on the right and the left. Well, let's open it up and some more hidden dragoons to the right. Pushing forward, and yes, it's giving me some disorder there on the hill. Let's venture out just a little bit of a staggered formation. God, look at the range of that. I think that unit of musketeers is going to get it in the face if they don't move, of course. Um. Let's turn. That's going to be turn. Cannons facing the cavalry on the right. What kind of cavalry do they have? De Determined horse superior. It's going to be quite an even match force there. So we're going to hit the uh, 17, 17, 17. So just 0 to 17 all the way. And unfortunately... 
a miss. And first shot to them, to the Dragoons. They're in a very strong position on that right side and that hill. I'd be very surprised if they do make a move, but the cavalry may have a hint... Uh, have a taste of my guys on that right and then push on forward. Dragoons see no fear. Cannon away, hitting the musketeers on the hill. And that's it. Let's see what we can do. Uh, is it? Can I, oh, I can charge them. They are going to flee. But putting my cavalry out of position. Pull straight to the right side. Let's get some of this pike and shot uh, on the hill. Uh, to hopefully take advantage of it. See if they want to push up or not. Let's stay out of all that. Oh, they are disordered because they are actually in rough ground. Uh, let's turn around and move them somewhere else. That's going to be turned there. And it is committed. The armies are quite quite nice looking. The cavalry seems to be on its way to try to tackle my cavalry. Um, hopefully the enemy will push on to the ground. Cannon away again at the musketeers. Uh, back to my turn. Okay, so what shenanigans? All right, let's go for the charge, I guess. And turn to face the dragoons. She's going to get messy very quickly. On our cavalry as well. And there we go. Fortunately, I should have turned there um, to get the full arc. These guys are going to walk around here. That is rough ground. It doesn't look like rough ground just because of the one little bush on there. Let's uh, hang on for the counter charge. And can the way we will hit what's good, what's looking good, what's looking tasty. I think that unarmoured horse there at the moment in time. And score, disruption. Going to move the pike to the left to cover the march. Marsh even. And these guys just turn to the right, left a little bit. Just to keep an eye out, see what pushes down. And the Dragoon's opening up again. And back to the date. And they're not they're without fear on that left side. Uh, maybe I needed to bring some units to support that cannon on its own. But the pike and shot are there uh, to soak up any fire from the cavalry. I'm hoping to catch these dragoons now. Cannon away causing zero damage. Uh, 
And a break. Any disruption? Disruption. Fantastic. That's what we wanted. And a fragment. Wow, the cavalry really, really putting the damage on them. First of all, we're going to shoot you first. Then we're going to charge you. We've opened up the hole. We're going to push on through. That looked like a catch to me. So yeah, doing really well there. Fantastic. And a break again. This the Danish cavalry is not in the best of moods. Brilliant. That cavalry hopefully will falter. And we're going to open up again. We're going to make sure we turn to the centre of the battle. And open up against anything that's going to come down this centre lane. We're out of, so let's turn to the... Are we out of range? Just out of range here. So let's start to turn over to the left to when these, uh, hopefully, Pike and Shot uh, feel this. I feel the thing. What, what, what's Tasty Target today? These guys here are definitely Tasty Target. I think we're definitely going to pull these to the left. And we're going to shoot away again. And they mm, turn them to the left again as well. These guys just sit pretty until they make the move and then we'll push on. Canard away. God, oh, that cavalry is getting smashed. And an overcharge. And here they come into the range of the pike and shots. Hopefully not giving into this rough terrain. I do not want to get into that rough terrain. Or oh, in the rough terrain of that hill. The cavalry on the left faltering uh, due to the marsh. I'm glad I didn't go in there. I don't want to go in there. Dragoon's opening up here. Cannon away again. Hitting the pike and shot on the hill, which needs to look to the left next turn to hit any open targets. <laughs> oh, yes! <laughs> that cavalry is a bit harsh. Uh, can we catch the dragoons? And we do! And we're going to turn here to charge away to see who is left in the next turn. So the Swedish cavalry dominating the Danish cavalry on that right side. It was a bloodbath, but we've seen this so many times. And when I start to win with the cavalry, or the cavalry, the infantry falters. So we've got to keep an eye on what's happening on this field here. So 20. You do a bayonets as well. But we're going to hopefully shoot them up before they get there. Remember, we want to get full arc fire. And disruption. So pull that fire down. We've got one shot of raw, but we need to make sure we turn them to the left to open up again. And the cavalry here. Do we open up against the. Yeah, we have. We'll turn them around next turn. Let's get these here. Because uh, they are mixed foot average. And full fire again. And against the cavalry. So, delivering some butt blows there. These guys here are particularly doing nothing. But we'll keep them there. We'll decide what we'll do. We'll see if it, if it starts to go south here, we'll move them up there. If it starts to go south there, we'll move them there. So, good, you know, the angled battlefield, really. Okay, taking full advantage of the hill. Uh, and trying to hopefully that encoast them into the rough terrain. And that's turned... Cavalry taking too long to get to my lines. Wow, their cavalry is ditched. It's all it's all gone on that right side. It is all gone. Wow.
and the cavalry there taking some hits. They've had to re resource their army to look at the rear. And fragmented? Oh, they're gonna go. And the cavalry falling back, but still under fire from the musketmen. That is what's gonna happen, and they disrupted. I think they put themselves in the the range of the cannon, so the cannon might hit them, charge and disrupt them. Ho ho ho, the fire. A zero on the cannon. Zero. That's not a wait, no. Next turn I'll charge them on the flank. And then the dragoons. Off the board, please, sir. And first of all, we're going to go here for the charge on the flank to cause some disruption. The Swedish cavalry absolutely ripping the Danish troops to smithereens. These guys now have spent all their action points. Uh, they can't move. Whoa, they just... Oh, they didn't stand a chance. And we're going to advance along to do their fleeing. So we're going to push along here. Hopefully we're going to mess with their line and they're going to have to turn some troops around. And as they turn troops around, we'll push on it. So they disrupted here. We're going to... I'm going to have to turn. So I don't think I'm going to turn the cannon uh, to face them. 27. So 27 on the front is going to be good. And fire. These guys will be full arc. Full arc there. These guys now coming into use, and we are just going to shoot. And a break. Hopefully, cohesion test here and disrupting the musketeers behind. That is exactly what we wanted. Let's now unleash again. Nope. But next turn, that's possibly. I'm gonna get a bit cocky here, guys. Gonna get cocky. We're gonna advance the infantry off the hill. We feel the cavalry now has enveloped this line. And they're gonna have to... They've already took two units off the main line to actually look at these cavalry. Um, so we're in a positive here. We're gonna turn these to look to the centre there for anybody who wants to rush us across the way. Cavalry are going to take a pound in this turn on the muskets. Last look crumbles. Is this going to be a flawless victory? We need to charge that pikeman unit in the, in the side. For a second, I thought they were going to overcharge into the cannon. And the cannon has vaporised. Disrupting the cavalry there. God. And they've moved into the rough terrain. I don't think they're disrupted by it because of their CTs. And cavalry is thinking twice on that left side. Stuck between the marsh. Hmm, going very well. These veteran musketeers are causing a few issues. And back to the Swedish turn. So let's see. We're going to move up here. Unfortunately, it's going to be half fire until I can turn around. Cannon away at the Musketeers veteran. Oh, do you know what? I would, I would, I would really, really tempted to charge in with lots of these units. Mm, 
they will block them. Well, what I'm going to do, I'm going to charge in here. Turn these around and then shoot them. And then everybody else is going to pour fire to this poor gentleman here. And I, I think even a charge is sneaky there. Oh, we're just, just not close enough. That cavalry needs support so badly. We're going to make them think about what they're doing. We're going to open up here. Going to move the infantry there, ready for the next charge. Ooh, these are going to run straight past. Ugh, going to run straight past. Are these guys, gentlemen are going to do the same. I'm getting outshot here by the veteran. But that is the way the cookie crumbles. Is anybody actually in range here? So that's it. So pretty good. The entire right flank of the Danes have just fallen themselves. But then musketeers in that centre are ripping me apart. I hope there'll be no pushbacks here for the cavalry. A rally there for them. Brilliant. And the charge of the raw pike. And they are moving across the board. Yep, yeah, still, to say what the unit is, they are still fine. Cavalry falling back, we're going to be careful of watching this left side still. What will, will happen there? Oh, this cavalry is in a lot of bother. I feel, I feel quite sorry for them. Just need to get this melee unit into here to help these out. And this is going to be it. 95%. Yes, sir. Uh, this cavalry needs to, like, run away. Two percent. Not fantastic. These guys now see themselves a little bit outnumbered. We're going to go for the charge and the break. Is there, is there a coherency test? They are fine. Mm -hmm. well, we'll pull this guy to the left. And these guys will mosey on up to the right. For some hassle here. And we shall turn the arc to the centre for full, full arc fire. And fragmented, fantastic. And an auto break. And here we go again, the on fire. <laughs> oh yes. Could break here. Gonna move the cavalry back around here to cause some issues for them for the next turn. And turn the cavalry around here to get back into the fight. So there you go, that's my turn. Swedish should just run away now. That's massively just turned a massacre. And a rally there for the cavalry has been pummeled by cannon and musket fire over that marsh for the last five turns. Back to the Danish turn. Can I? Oh, for a second there, I thought I was going to have a clean sweep. Huzzah! Huzzah! There you go, ladies and gentlemen. That was epic. We shall graciously give mercy 
there you go guys this has been oh epic two hours finally a victory for me uh there you go that was two losses and a win uh pike and shot is a fickle fickle mistress and we've just seen that because of that so like i said guys thank you everybody for uh watching this stream uh and please check pike and shot out because it is a very nice game and I very much like it. Um, I just give in, like I said, guys. I'm 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 a very small YouTuber who uh, does strategy games, so don't forget to have a look at my YouTube channel. You did it in the end. I know I did. That was harsh. Thank everybody for watching um, and watch this space. I'll be round at some other point, probably doing some other streams for Slivering Games. Um, but that was fantastic. Thank you everybody uh, for watching and contributing to the stream. Uh, thank you Pixel as well. You're always a, a vault of knowledge in these games but like i said this has been a slivering uh, stream of pike and shot no problem richard the troll slayer hopefully see you soon i've seen you pop up pop in and out sometimes of the streams oh that was intense you know what i think the entire the, out of the three battles it saved it up until the last game to actually literally that last whoop i don't know what happened just Bad luck, bad dice rolls. So there you go, guys. Don't forget to have a look at my YouTube channel, uh, and I'd be grateful for all your support. But also, like I said, check uh, the Sliver Insight out and uh, any of their games because I I love them and play them quite a lot. Uh, so there you go. See you later, guys. I should hopefully see you next week or very soon. See you later, folks. Bye bye. <laughs>